you feel like we're in the, the final cycles, but it doesn't seem like the market quite agrees. We're, we're having a down September right now, and all three of the major indices trading below their 50-day moving average. Why aren't we seeing better stock performance if we're, if we're at the end of this hiking cycle? Well, we think that has a little bit less to do with the Fed and more to do with a lot of things that are going on right now. You're confronting the Hollywood strike. You just started the new uh, uh, automobile strike. You have uncertainty via uncertainty about a government shutdown in the next month. So there are a lot of things going on. And your inflation numbers were a little bit hotter than expected last week. So we think that all taken together has slowed the market down. We don't think it derails it, but we do expect volatility. We think it's going to be a pause that refreshes. But we do think the Fed, whether they're done or almost done, uh, they're definitely in the eighth or ninth inning for sure. All right. So like a lot of people in the market, you think we're, we're coming up on a pause during the decision this week. You say it's going to be a refresh. With that in mind, what's your Wex word of the day? The, the Wex word of the day is headwinds. You're just confronting a lot of very sh short-term issues, and that's going to slow the market down. And that's perfectly normal. But we do have a number of headwinds uh, that we're confronting right now, led by the strike. Okay. Um, if we're going to get a, a pause and a refresh, what areas in the market do you think are going to start to work better at, as part of this refresh and the pause? Technology started the year off white hot. It has slowed down since June. A lot of areas that started very poorly have started to pick up in a meaningful way, and we think that's going to continue. We, we look to stocks that really have not done a lot this year but have good long-term outlooks, good franchises, as the next opportunity. All right. Uh, so we like health care okay. uh, is one that we think will do well. Utilities have done miserably. We think they're poised to do a little bit better. Financials, uh, same thing. So, so, David, we want to get to your pick. So speaking of opportunity, we showed our mystery chart just a minute ago. Um, it's Pfizer. So you're saying Pfizer is a company that you would buy today. You gave us some other picks as well. And it's all based on valuation. So Pfizer, for example, trading at about 11, 12 times forward earnings. Why is that company so attractive, even though it's down 33 percent year to date? Well, in fact, the, the, re, the fact that it's down 35 percent has made it that attractive. It's a good long-term business. It's, it sells at, at 10 times earnings. We think the earnings are going to grow over the next three to five years modestly, but they will grow. They have a 4.8 percent dividend deal, so you're getting paid a lot of money while you're waiting. And management has said that they're going to continue to grow the dividend actually at an accelerating rate. So it's a good business, not a great business, but a good business at a great price. All right, so you're all about valuation. So and you also talked about utilities being attractive right now. One of your picks, Next Era Energy. But you look at that 4P, 21 times forward earnings for a utility. Explain your thesis there. So we like the overall utility group. Next Era has always been the uh, premier utility. It is one of the largest um, new energy plays out there. So you're paying a little bit more for it. So generally, uh, folks that know us know that we like things in the teens. Uh, Nextera generally sells about 25 times earnings at a premium to the group. So it's at its smallest premium to the group that it's been at some time. They've also had a very significant amount of insider buying, the CEO, two directors buying. So we think you're getting a great business at a good price. Uh, and we think if you have a 12-month time horizon, this is a really good entry point. So not as cheap as we normally like, okay. but a really good business. And we think it's a very attractive entry point. All right, your other picks, Goldman Sachs, David, we've got to let you go. But really quickly, um, are expecting more choppiness and volatility today, despite futures being in the green? Uh, we are expecting choppiness over the, over the next week and two weeks as the market comes to terms with the strike and the possible government shutdown. Yes.